Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Sunday, July 16th, and we are finishing this series of what it means to walk with the Lord. I don't know about you, but this series has really um, opened my eyes to a lot of things that I didn't pay enough attention to. I'm very thankful that I've done it just for my own personal growth. I hope it's done that for you as well. We are finally in the book of Revelation. And today we are starting off in Revelation chapter 3, where it talks about the church, um, where it's the letter um, to the church in Sardis. And it says, And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, The words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your work. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. This is uh, an attitude where you appear to be spiritually on target. You appear to be uh, really living your life for the Lord, but yet you are spiritually dead in some way. In some way, you're putting on a mask and faking it. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of God. Remember then what you received and heard. Keep it and repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief and you will not know at what hour I will come against you. Yet you still have a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments and they will walk with me in white for they are worthy. This is about the spirit of religion. The spirit of religion puts on a very good show and makes a strong effort to appear way more spiritual than everyone else around them. They're always looking down their nose at other people. They're always saying, you're not doing this, you're not doing this, you're not doing this, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. They're not living in that grace. Remember, the spirit of religion's entire purpose is to remove God's grace and make it works oriented. We've got to remove that mask. It's not about the works, it's about the grace. It's about God bestowing upon us this eternal life that we could never earn on our own. Now, what's this last scripture that um, this Bible gives us in this series about walking with the Lord? It's Revelation 21 verse eight, and it says, but as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murders, the sec murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their proportion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Now on the surface, that seems like a very morbid way to end a series that has been so exciting, but we've got to remember all the things we have seen. You know, when we're walking with God, it's because we are choosing to be right next to God. And when there's that distance, it's because we moved away, not because God moved away. We have to remember that we can be walking closely with God just because we chose to. And how do we do that? We keep that focus on God. We keep that mindset on God. You know, we don't just check the box. Yep, I went to church on Sunday. I'm good for the rest of the week. We keep our nose in our Bible. We keep studying that Bible. We're not just passively reading it. We're learning what it says. We've got a prayer life. We're spending a lot of time in prayer. Well, it's not so much about the time. It's about the quality. We're spending time with the Lord. And we're not just talking in that prayer time. We're also taking the time to listen and see what the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us. What the Holy Spirit wants us to see. What the, he wants us to hear what he wants to show us. And we're using them in conjunction together because when we put that scripture with that prayer time, we the two feed off of each other and you walk away with that much more growth. And then as we go through our day, we're also keeping a Christ-centered um, mindset. We're looking for ways we can glorify God. We're sending those little quick, I call them popcorn prayers, just, you know, quick one sentence prayers. You're talking with the Lord throughout the day. And when you do that, you walk beside him and all those blessings flow. As you go into your prayer closet, if you've never had the time where you, you spend time in your Bible, you spend time praying, and then you spend time listening to the Holy Spirit, today's a wonderful day to start. You've seen the benefits as we've gone through this series. 
go and enjoy them. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.